Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good day again everyone um, Today we will be discussing about um, Square of binomial So um, This one is a, a Kind of special product again Which is uh, from the Term itself From the name of the Special product itself is that We will be getting the Square of any given binomial Okay So square means of course uh, raised to 2 so, uh, the basic structure of our square of binomial, binomial would be this one. Um, we will have, say, our a and b would be your terms. And we will get the square of that. So, the answer would be on the structure of a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Okay. So, the square of binomial is, of course, derived from um, uh, just... This is a structure of uh, the distributive property or the FOIL method when it comes to multiplying a binomial to itself. Okay, so we have this structure. So basically, the square of binomial will have this structure. And let's have an example so that we can uh, further see how this uh, square of binomial goes. Okay, so let's have our first example being say we have 2x plus y squared okay so basically the rule of this one would simply be take the first term so let's just st structure some rules okay rules first rule would be let me change the color of my marker so that you can see uh, identify better so let's have it in blue okay first one first rule would be um take the first term and the second second term and square them so again you have to take the first and second term and square them so in this case our first term is 2x okay so we will have of course 2x and when we get the square of 2x as I, I did remind you guys before this video is that um, we need to for numbers you evaluate meaning you take what is 2 squared so we'll have 2 squared and for the letter you will just simply of course take the uh, that number uh, that letter variable and you will multiply the exponent of that variable to the exponent outside which is of course 2 and 2 times 1 is of course x squared finally evaluating this one will give you 4x squared and next we have y squared it will give us of course since let me change that y squared it will give us of course y raised to 1 and then y raised to 1 times 2 the answer would be y squared so after you have taken that okay the next thing that you will do is you will just simply get twice the product twice the product of the first the first okay and second term so the first and um, second term would be of course the first term is just simply 2x and then you will multiply that with y and then what do you need to do you need to get twice of that so that's why there's always a times 2 outside again the times 2 would be always outside it will never be times 4 or other because it's twice nya. So we will have 2x times y since um, there are no variab variables or letters there that are the same so therefore we cannot apply the lo um, loss of exponent for example we have x squared times x cubed the answer would be x raised to 5 okay i say you will add them but since there's none so you will take the variables as is but when it comes to the numbers you just simply multiply by default there's one here 2 times 2 times 1 is simply 4 okay and then what do you need to do you just simply need to sorry um just simply need to structure them in the sense of um, you will put them together like this okay your answer for the first like this one first term square plus the second here this one uh, let's say that's at an, your answer at number two plus your second term squared so putting them together which one are uh, those these are your number 2 and then this is your second term and then your first term putting them together will give you an answer of 
4x squared plus 4y, 4, 4xy plus y squared. And that would be the square of your binomial. Okay? So, this rule is, um, you cannot, you don't necessarily need to follow them. What you can do is, of course, um, you can come up with your own means of trying to understand your our lesson. So, maybe let's have another given, say, another example. So, we have something basic like 3x squared plus um, x cubed. Yeah. And then we have squared here outside. Okay? So, what we need to do here is, I'll just write it down. Okay? In the structure, you will need to take the first term and then you will need to get the square. Plus, you will need to take twice the first term, you write it down, times the second term. So, it's important that you know how to write down first, okay? Plus, x cubed squared. Okay, it's very important that you need to know how to write. So, this is just simply what we have in our, ano, in our general structure being a squared plus 2 a b let me just put a parenthesis for emphasis and then we have b squared so this is basically your a and b here oh, let me change the ano, para hindi kayo malito. Uh, let me change this one our solution would be on the white and then um, my notes would be always on green this is your a and this is your b a squared plus 2 a and b and plus b squared. So, there you go. So, um, evaluating our answer will give us, this one is 3 squared. This is 9. x squared squared, this would be x raised to 4. Plus, this one, let's multiply the numbers together. 2 times 3 times 1 is simply 6. And x squared times x cubed will simply mean that I will add their exponent so this is x raised to 5 plus this is x cubed squared meaning we multiply the exponent 3 times 2 the answer would be x raised to 6 giving us a final answer of this one 9 x raised to 4 plus 6 x raised to 5 plus x raised to 6 you don't necessarily need to arrange them in um, the highest or uh, the highest degree or not it depends upon your teacher if they would require you maybe in the exam I will require you but not now okay so let's have another example what if we have negative numbers say we have 4x cube minus y x squared there you go and we have squared what is the answer here kaya? okay so the answer here would then again go about the structure of our um, given, wherein the structure would simply be um, a squared plus twice ab plus b squared. Okay, so let's write it down properly so you will understand further. You will take the first term. Okay, uh, let me let me remove the equals uh, this question mark here. Maybe let's write it down here in our form first. A and B. Okay? So in A and B, what would happen? There would be, we have A parenthesis squared plus twice A times B plus C par uh, so what Why do we have C there? Time plus B squared. Take note, it's always plus. So even if you would have your minus sign here, it would still be plus. Okay? And you will see later why is it's always plus, okay? Equals to. Now, our A is of course 4x cubed. So, we'll have 4x cubed. We will have square. Plus, we have twice. It's always constant. It's always twice. So, it's a constant. We have our A. We will just rewrite that 4x cubed. And our B is just simply yx squared. But since this is minus, okay? So, we will take the sign of it. Negative y x squared plus our b again is negative y x squared squared okay so following this structure which is the same as this one okay 
we will have our answer as we have 4 squared evaluate kasi that is um, that is a call this a number and an exponent being 16 then we have x cube squared instead of um, uh, doing I mean the only rule to answer this one would be x uh, multiplied exponent so we'll have x raised to 6 plus we have multiply the numbers 2 times 4 times negative 1 take note you have a 1 here okay, you have a 1 here and that is a negative 1 take note again everyone that if you would have a negative before a, con a before a variable okay, it's by default it will have a negative 1 there okay Sige, let's have let's, let's continue 2 times 4 times negative 1 is negative 8 then we have x cubed x squared again we have the same multiplication of same variables meaning add the exponent x raised to 5 and then we have finally our y plus finally we have we have negative 1 here right what is negative 1 squared the answer is still positive 1 so you will have a 1 there and y squared since that has a 1 1 times 2 it's y squared and then finally we have x squared squared that is x raised to 4 and of course um, I did told you guys that if you would have that 1 you'll have a 1 it's negligible meaning you don't necessarily need to write it down okay negligible so we will have our final answer as 16 x raised to 6 since we have this plus minus I did told you guys that always change that to minus 8 x raised to 5 y plus y squared x raised to 4 we are just simply rewriting and again you might ask sir this is negative how come it's positive now because the square let's take a note square of any negative negative you mean minus negative number is positive or let's say the pos okay it's positive okay, it's always positive in any case this would be our answer okay so this is already the some complicated example let me just uh, sorry let me just give you one that is very basic so let's have our last example as x plus 1 or plus 2 squared yan madalas sa madalas sa binibigay let's ex ex um, evaluate our given straight we have x squared plus twice right it's twice the first sorry the first term is x first and second term plus square of the last term giving us x squared plus 4x this is x plus 4y 2 times 2 times 1 may 1 dyan the answer is 4 and since x has no partner no partner malungkot siya okay, still x would be alone here and we have 2 squared, the answer is simply 4. Okay? So, I do hope that you got our lesson for today. Um, if you would have any other questions, uh, just go back to the video again. Thank you for listening, everyone. And, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.